guys today. Had a little bit of a scheduling problem, so that means we got three days to get three seven to nine inch lift kits done. We've got a 2015 body style nine inch McGoys. We have a 2019 to 2022 body style getting an FTS, and then we have an F-150 getting a seven inch ready lift. All three from out of town, all fans of the channel, and I love you guys so much for coming and showing love to us and the channel and everything. Part of the scheduling problem was my fault, but I know that we have the best install guys in the nation, and I would put them up against anybody, and we're gonna make it work, and we'll see how it goes. We've got T minus two and a half days to get the trucks done is ultimately the goal. Let's get this bread. Yes, I've had my Chick-fil-A already, so some vibes are good. Kind of a hectic day today, so I'm gonna try and keep up. We got our uh, 19 to 22 body style Chevy, getting a seven inch FTS today with some 2614s. Where are we at? 2614 HD Pro Forged. Trying to keep up today. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a hectic day. A little XF off-road for you with the FTS for you this morning. Our F-150 over here is getting a seven inch ready lift and some 24 by 14s and some 37s. So that one's gonna be a good one. My, I know that my Ford fans are gonna be excited for this one. We're almost building something similar to my truck. This one's getting a very nice like yellowish green McGoy's kit. This is the one I'm the most excited about. 26 14s, 35s, nine inch greenish McGoy's kit. He's already got the clear headlight lenses in which on this body style truck is just the most, this the cleanest thing you've ever seen. I love the cleared headlights in this truck. All black with the chrome wheels and the really nice bright colored lift kit is gonna be absolutely beautiful and then we've got our blue chevy in the shop already that you guys got a quick clip of that was right in the middle of the hecticness this morning so i only got a quick clip of it that one will be getting done first this one will probably be second and this one will probably be third but it was just one of those moments this morning where you know he shows up scheduling was off and i'm just like well i guess we got no choice but to get it done so i guess follow me along and just see how the day goes something different but cool to see Montier dropped one of his uh, or Joseph dropped one of his trucks off for us to take a lift kit off of and so we took the lift kit off the front of this that it's going on another body style f-150 or another f-150 of his and we left the 37s on the back because he's just taking it home and I guess scrapped it. I don't know what he's doing with the truck but I just think it's funny that we left the 37s on the back and put stocks back on the front our black ones getting some uh, oh kg ones with the with the floaters okay all right all right I forgot we were doing kg ones on this that's cool with the floating center caps. Hello! <laughs> Welcome to this week's video. Weird. inch McGoy's kit in this beautiful green color going on. We got the McGoy's beautiful front cross member with all our billet accent pieces. Cognito upper control arms with the chrome accent pieces, which is a super nice compliment to the truck. It's getting some rock lights as well. I'm really excited to see this color on the truck. And he's got the 26 inch KG1s going on it as well. Let me know before we do the install on the two trucks, are you guys liking the green McGoy's cross member better than the chrome? FTS. I didn't know this one was going to be chrome. I thought it was going to be black, which is a super nice, super nice addition to the kit because you got 26 inch chrome HD pros going on a chrome FTS kit, but you got the really nice green McGoy's kit going on 26 inch KG ones. So let me know while you guys are still this far into the video, which you guys like better. I'm definitely a McGoy's fan because it comes with the billet accent pieces, but you really can't beat that chrome front cross member on the FTS. I just wanted to see the color in the sunlight and that color is crazy. Look at all the sparkle in that. Y'all see that? That's gonna be beautiful. Ooh, yeah, I'm excited for that. That's gonna look good. Got you the real thing. Can't even cap to me, now you feel something. Yeah, you want it a million and you show it. What you want is it really that important? You've been on my mind and I really can't ignore it. Little baby, you a 10. When I'm in it, I got you going, oh. she driving at home like that? What, right in front of the, right in front of the parking lot? Ain't no way. Things clapped out, didn't it? <laughs> yeah, he said popping clutches might buy this, so. Any fans of the channel that know popping clutches? 
<laughs> that's that's right up his alley, isn't it? <laughs> you gonna blast him with it? Blast it? Who you blasting with it? Why'd you say that? I'm running right away. <laughs> My bad. Get him! I can't get him now. All right, we got our whoa. Jonathan's throwing stuff over there. <laughs> All right, our guy's here to pick up the blue Chevy with the FTS. A beautiful, look, hey, how's it going? A be beautiful chrome FTS with the 2614s. This one will be on the ground today as well. It's our green McGoy's kit on the Chevy. Absolutely looking beautiful over here. Cross member looking all nice. Our 26 is back there. And we got our F-150 on the lift, so this one will probably be done tomorrow. So it looks like timing for all the lift kits is definitely gonna be good. We were just definitely stressing a little bit this morning, so not gonna be as bad as we thought. This one, again, will get finished up probably later today, first thing in the morning, and we'll film it out front. And we're actually about to pull our blue Chevy out front with the customer so he can get on his way back to Tampa. Yeah. Yeah. No steps. Oh! Today ain't my day, that's for sure. We gonna act like that one didn't happen, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> All right, back in the blue one off the alignment rack. You guys are always asking how these trucks drive, and I. Nope. Y'all are always asking how these trucks drive, and I never get to do any like little test drives in them. Um, most of the bigger tires like this never drive. It drives different, but it's not bad. Does that make sense? And especially this one's sitting at about nine inches on 35s and 14 wides. So it's got full turn radius. We did trim a little bit. Trimming is significantly less on a nine inch with 14 wides and 35s versus 37s. And my camera's sliding all over the place. Make sure you get them wide turns coming through the parking lot back there. Last thing you wanna do is pull a truck up to the front for a customer, and right as it's about to leave, you curb one of the wheels. That'd be a nightmare, wouldn't it? I came prepared today. I got battery, I got charge, I got memory on the card. Carter here wants me to get on the ground today. I didn't bring the right shoes to get on the ground today, but I guess I guess we're getting on the ground today. Let's get on the ground. Carter brought us a, it's gonna be a 2022 today, I don't care. 2022 Chevy 1500 Trail Boss for us to put a, uh, I thought it was a seven inch FTS, but it's sitting about nine. And some 26s and 35. Carter and his girlfriend drove all the way from Tampa last night, slept in the parking lot this morning. <laughs> Um, and that was at eight o'clock this morning. I wish if it would have been, if I would have known it was gonna be done today, I would have shown you all the time. But the first clip of the video of me showing that, that was this morning and in the middle of this hecticness, he was scheduled next week and he showed up this morning. And I don't remember what I said, but it was kind of like a, you kind of fucked me, we're gonna figure it out kind of thing, you know what I mean? Not really, but. It kind of was. Definitely put us in a bad spot. But shout out to, so to Brandon and Leonard and Mikey and Jonathan and all the guys that work in the back because they're the, you don't work in the back, shut up. I work in the front. You didn't help put the kit together. I've slept in this parking lot too. We've all, okay. I've slept here at the shop before too. Um, <laughs> one time, one time. But shout out to the guys in the back because they're really the reason why this is done today. And this was done same day. Carter showed up this morning. He was here at five o'clock this morning sleeping in the parking lot. And it's 3.55. Carter's leaving. So shout out to the guys in the back. Shout out to Carter for the drive. Before we get run over, this is what we deal with. Cut. My life into peace. Oh. Uh, you see Mikey back there messing with his rear end. That sounded weird. <laughs> Mikey's messing with the rear end back there. You got two or three guys back there. They got you got three guys messing with one rear end back there. No, no. <laughs> That's so messed up. All right, come on, come on, let's do it. Oh, jeez. I hear oh. your knees popping, oh, dude. Oh, is that the ground or is that my knees? I don't know. Jeez. All right. You think you can get all the way up there to it? I could probably just sit on here. This one. truck's so tall. I can just sit. What? <laughs> I think Jose's just laying under the truck just to be there. I don't even think he's actually working. He's it's just, like what you're doing. Yeah, he's just phone's ringing. Be the camera guy. Let's do it. All right, bet. Part is the camera guy now. Is it, is it filming? I think so. Yeah, you it see is. The yep, it is. Yep. Part is being the camera guy now because none of this is ever planned or scripted. We just kind of wing it and put it together. You know what I mean? So, 
uh, nine inch chrome FTS kit. I didn't know this was gonna be chrome today and I'm super excited that it is because it makes it just that much better. The only reason why I would pick an FTS over a McGoy's kit, and you guys know I'm a fan of McGoy's, is because of the chrome cross member that FTS does. I've seen people do a chrome McGoy's before and it just doesn't hit the same. The chrome FTS is 1000% the way to go. If you're doing an FTS kit, you have to get the chrome cross member with it. All right, oh geez. 2614 HD Pro, Carter told me it is the Raptor. Do you love that we can just what? No. He's watching you and the last thing he said before, you, before I came outside was look at that nut. Come on, That's what <laughs> Chewie said? No, uh, no video. Uh, anyway, 20, the guys in the shop like to give us a look. Oh, he's like watching us film. You can tell, can you tell us? <laughs> it makes no sense why it's so busy in the morning and then it's dead in the afternoon. It doesn't make any sense. Sorry. I'm getting complete I'm getting so sidetracked here. <laughs> 2614 HD Pro forged Raptor with the chrome lug nuts. They all come with the metal center caps, which is super cool to me. Would you just call me inside? Bro, Jonathan, shut up! You're a loose nut. 35, 13, 50. 20, no, gee, I'm all kind of just messed up. <laughs> 35, 35, 13, 50, 26 amp MTs. Already mounted before they got here. Super easy. Bolt them on. Throw the lift kit on. Bolt it on. Look, FTS makes a great lift kit. Came with the upper control arms too. 26, 14s, 35s, 9-inch chrome FTS kit. In and out, same day from Tampa. Really, I don't know where you could go that would be better than that. That's all I'm saying. So, just to throw that in there for you. I don't know if anybody remembers the, this truck's my favorite days. Remember that? Every truck is his favorite. I think every, I think most, some people remember that, yeah. So, shout out to uh, to Carter and his girlfriend for coming all the way from Tampa. I love y'all. He's holding the camera, so there's no fakeness about this. <laughs> yeah. I love y'all for coming from so far and spending your time and money and allowing us to film and have a good time. And I just, it's half the reason. Like, I, the beginning of the week sucked. Monday sucks, Tuesday, Wednesday sucks, and then I wake up Thursday and I'm like, crap, we got cool stuff here. So, it gets a little hectic, but I love you guys for coming from so far away and uh, hopefully we can do it again soon let's get this bread Stayed late last night and got all the rock lights ran for us this morning. Getting the wheels and tires bolted on, 26, 14 KG1s. Ooh, I love the floating center caps and that color is freaking beautiful. Oh yes, thank you. Yeah, I think he just did white. He brought the set with him. That green color is crazy, isn't it though? Look at that. What are you doing up there? Bro, I was turning on the lights. I appreciate you. It looks good. I like this green color a lot. I know the money green is a little bit darker. I'll have to ask him when he gets here to see what color it is. It's got a lot of flake in it though. Ooh, that looks good. But VVS is on the paint. Do what? VVS is on the paint? Yeah. Yeah. This truck actually looks really good. The cleared headlights look really good in it, like mine. Ooh. two videos why because it's, it, it all flows together would you guys rather have one good video or two like five six seven minute video no I'm not doing it that way Carter's gonna be upset because I might thumbnail this video if he's watching this what look 
at this at this point it, at this point in the video he's gonna know what thumbnail that I pick but just know as you're watching this on your TV at home right now I'm in the moment of making the decision do I use your picture for the thumbnail or do I redo the thumbnail because I love this truck so much it is my body style it's got the McGoy's lift it's powder coated green it's got 26's which is I'm a little jealous because it's got 26's and I don't but just know that the gears are turning right now whose heart do I break is really what it is and which thumbnail do I pick but we'll decide that later 2015 Chevy 1500 it really speaks for itself. You guys have heard me talk about my truck a million times. It's my favorite body style truck at the end of the day. I say that everything's my favorite and I understand that, right? But this one's definitely my favorite body style because it's the truck that I have, obviously. 2015, uh, first thing that I said when we looked at the truck this morning, I love the cleared headlight lenses. If you guys have a body style truck like this and you don't have the cleared headlight lenses, you that's the first thing you need to do. Before you lift it, before anything, that's the first thing you need to do. Outside of that, the trucks don't really need anything. They look great. Nine inch McGoy's, hey, what color is this? I meant to ask you that. Shocker yellow. Damn, I've been saying I've been saying green the whole time. I'm sticking with green. Shocker yellow, nine inch McGoy's lift. This is one of the most, it might be. Jake said it's the, what? That's, that's your favorite lift kit color. It's hard for me to say that too. I've seen a lot. I'm not really a green person either, or yellow, or whatever. I'm not gonna lie. So we were sitting at the, I could have filmed this yesterday, but I was sitting at the desk inside, just kind of looking. Jake had his, uh, if you guys didn't see Jake's video, make sure you guys go check Jake's video out. He had the trucks lined up out here, and I'm not gonna lie, I love red, red's my favorite color, but this, next to the, it just pops so much more than the red does, even when it's not in the sun, especially with the rock lights on it, it's just, it's a beautiful color. Nine inch McGoy's lift. The uh, 14 to 18 body style does still come with the billet accent pieces on the front. Ooh. Mm. Lost my train of thought. That's what happens when you get old. You need to put some grease in them ball joints. I need to put some grease in these ball joints. 14 to 18 body style lift kit does come with the billet accent pieces on the front, but it doesn't on the front compression struts, which is fine. You don't really need it. That shocker yellow is just, that's my favorite part of the build, 1,000%. I don't need to say anything else. It's beautiful. If you can't see it in person, some of the clips in the video will do it justice. You can see the sparkle in it, but it's absolutely beautiful. Upgraded to the Cognito upper control arm. It's a must. Either have the McGoys, Cognito, Kryptonite, one of the three. It's a must when you're doing big lift kits like this. It just adds a little bit of, little bit of extra flavor to it. Um, he did the springs before he came, and he did the lower control arm. Something, again, I'm jealous of because I wish that I could add those pieces in. Mine looked like trash, and I need to get them done. 2614 KG1 Torture? Is it Torture or Creator? Torture. Tor torture? Scorcher? Torture? With the, with the fluffy cap. Got to have the fluffy cap. Absolutely beautiful. And a 35, 1350. It's a beautiful truck, clean truck. Pass off. Into the wind. That was the most awkward run I've ever seen Jake do in my entire life. I wanted to give a, a shout out to Warriors Powder Coating in Alabama for doing such a good job on the lift kit. Um, that shocker yellow is just absolutely beautiful and I wanted to show love to Warriors Powder Coating before the truck leaves because they did such an amazing job. It's got so much flake in the powder coat but just wanted to give you guys a like a second example of what powder coat could look like on a truck like this. I've got Illusion Red that has a lot of sparkle in it and I'm not going to lie, like I said, the, two, the trucks were all parked together outside and red is obviously my favorite color but I saw this sitting out front. And that, that, that shocker yellow, that green color is just contrasting off the black. It just looks absolutely beautiful. And I think the color choice was was amazing. Let me know what you guys think. You guys you guys liking the silver and red better or the black and, uh, and green? I kind of like the black, green, and chrome better, but I could never go back to a chrome set of wheels. I just would never be able to keep them clean. And at least he's got center caps. Wouldn't it be nice to have center caps? They would fit nice on my wheels. Center caps are always a good addition. Center caps are nice. Your nuts aren't hanging out. Axle nuts is what I'm talking about. See? My nuts hanging out. Let me know in the comments if you guys like the 19 to 21 body style. So Carter brought his truck all the way from Tampa. This one's all the way from Alabama, and I appreciate you guys for coming from so far away. I'm going to throw you on the video real quick. Appreciate y'all for coming from so far away. It means the world to us. Again, I said it earlier in the video. When I wake up on Monday and I know I got nothing cool coming to the shop, it just we end up sitting around playing iPhone games, me and Jake back and forth all day. But when we know we got cool stuff coming to the shop, it gives us, that's, that's the reason why we wake up and do what we do because we love building cool trucks. We love doing it for people that are fans of what we do. Um, subscribe, I don't like, bread gang. That's why we started the bread gang. I don't like the word fans. But I appreciate you guys for coming from so far away. Standing in front of them, I always do this just so they know it's all love. And uh, 
I don't know. I think I got. I think I got to thumbnail this one. It, it is what it is. I just. I like the. I like the green too much, Carter. I'm sorry. I'm gonna throw. I'm gonna throw that truck in the thumbnail. So I'm gonna figure it out. I'm gonna figure it out. But I love y'all for coming from so far away. I just. I got to do it. That truck looks so good. Y'all can't get in the comments and tell me that truck don't look good. The black with the chrome wheels, the green lift kit, the cleared headlights. It's just. It's. It's beautiful. And let me know what you guys think in the comments. I love you guys. As always, let's get this bread. We got Gary's F-150 finished up, the last one of the three. It's about Saturday at 12, 11.30. It's about 11.30. He's on the way to get it. Close at 12. So all three trucks did get done before the weekend. Nobody had to wait until Monday, which was super nice. We ended up having to wait for some parts on this one. So the only reason this one wasn't done yesterday is we had to do a little bit of front-end work to it. while it We got Gary's F-150 finished up, 2414 Archons. I don't remember which Archon wheel this is, but it's one of the ones that has a lot of concave on it, which is super cool. And then some 37, 1350, 24 Turos, and his, uh, his F-150. 150 finished up with a seven inch ready lift ready lift makes a really nice lift kit if you're wanting something kind of in between a rough country and a mcgoys or fts for some of these trucks you can do the ready lift but the seven inch 37s and 24s um, most of the time we would like to do an eight inch if we're doing 37s and 14 wides but the seven inch will work you just do a little bit more cutting a little bit of trimming up front a little bit of trimming in the back take out the crash bars and ride into the sunset 37s 24s and a seven inch ready lift looks really good the black and white with the black and milled wheels is always a super clean always a super clean setup so i hope gary really enjoys it when he comes to get it this one is definitely for my ford fans this video is thumbnailed with a bunch of chevys it's been nothing but chevy content so i'm throwing in a little bit of ford content for my for my ford fans out there and i hope you guys enjoy it 24 like i said 24 37s on a seven inch by gary no guys g-a-z-i g-a-z-i yeah gazi that's what everybody call me guys i like it's different i like that so gazi came through to pick up the f-150 today for my Ford people, right? For my Ford people, this is one. This is one of the Ford people. Do you ever feel some kind of way when I talk about my Ford people in the comments? I see a lot of Chevys, man. That's, I see a lot of Chevys. I'm I'm you here know. for you today to give you your moment, okay? I love when people come through and I can just have a real conversation with people. It just keeps me it keeps me centered, keeps me just level headed. It's been a rough morning, and I just I appreciate y'all for coming through and just being real and just spending time. And, and he's local to Atlanta, so I'm sure he'll be back at some point. But I just wanted to make sure that he likes the truck, you know, and tell him in front of him that I appreciate him for coming through and spending time, spending money. Okay. And there's other shops he could have went to. There's other shops that any one of the three could have went to from Tampa, Alabama, and even just the north side of Atlanta. Y'all pass a thousand shops on the way to get here. And just in front of you, I always do this. I know it's probably kind of awkward, but I love y'all and I appreciate y'all for coming through. And I just want to show mad love to y'all and your bills and just give you your moment to be up on the on the wall on the TV in front of everybody so from me to you appreciate I appreciate it, you buddy. if you guys like the content we just hit 60k I'm gonna be hopping back on Instagram in the next couple of days we're going to Vegas for 10 days I'm gonna be in Vegas for SEMA for 10 days we're gonna see the sphere we're going to the strip club we're doing all that shit I don't care and I'm filming all of it for y'all so we're gonna do like it's not gonna be daily videos but it'll be close to it so hangover part for you I ain't getting into all that no I ain't drinking like that but <laughs> I'll be there for other people when they get fucked up and I'll film it but we're going hey we're going to Vegas like and subscribe I love you guys so much and as always let's get this bread baby, get this bread, baby. That's what I'm talking about.